Hi, it's me, Zay from Beaverbrooks, the British tech guru. Uh, today I'm going to step a little bit outside my comfort zone. Um, I'm on a lot of internet groups, forums and whatnot. Um, or rather, I try not to pay too much attention to them. I, 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 look, I look at them to see if I can find any, any useful pointers towards things. Mostly they're just full of baloney. Um, so I do not pay too much attention to them. And some of the technical ones can be okay up to a point. But largely it's a case of... Oh dear. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway. One of the things I have noticed in one type of, uh, of um, one type of group is people are always so paranoid about defending themselves. Oh, I must defend myself against two-legged and four-legged predators when I'm camping. Um, really? Really? So, you're going camping in the middle of the countryside. What are you expecting to find? And where are you going? And most of the countryside is fairly peaceful. As far as I know, there are no hostile Indian tribes running around uh, shooting arrows into, into people. Um, there are no roving bands of brigands. And um, yeah, there are gangs, but they're in the cities. There's nothing for them in the countryside. Um, what on earth do you think you're, there's possibly going to be in the countryside that's going to going to attack you? Oh yes, bears, lions, tigers, giraffes, dinosaurs. Yeah, right. In the vast majority of the United States, it's fairly peaceful out in nature. Um, I haven't seen a bear yet. I've seen a few snakes. Um, I haven't seen a bear. I haven't seen a, 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 a pretty well anything that would endanger me and uh, snakes are generally want to stay away from me and they see me coming and they either either slither away or make themselves very visible so that i can see they're there and then they go and then i i know know to avoid them and the most uh, aggressive species i've come across has been a wasp um so the question is, if people are so paranoid about going, going camping and needing to be armed, why are they going camping? Why? Um, my contention is that such people would never go camping. They're too afraid of it. So, um... Yeah, what kind of ca hand cannon should you take with you? Well, you don't need a hand cannon. If you think you're going to need a hand cannon, don't go. Simple. And the, the, the whole attitude towards guns in America is absolutely nuts. And you talk about the Second Amendment. Yes, okay, fair enough. Keep the Second Amendment. Own your guns, own your ammunition. Shoot your guns, shoot your ammunition. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, the problem is when it becomes paranoia. You hear a noise in the night. And you get up with a gun in your hand and you go out ready to blast anything in sight. And you see a movement in the bushes and you blast at it and it's a and it's a poor little kitty cat. No. 
people are way too trigger happy. And as I said, these groups, they're all on about wanting to arm themselves. And that's just foolish because the people, the kind of people that say, what should I buy? Are the kind of people you don't want buying guns because they, they haven't learned not to be afraid. And fear will make people do act in one of two ways. First way is they will freeze and whatever happens will happen, no matter what they what kind of hand cannon they have. The second kind are the people who will be skittish. And if they're skittish, they'll see a shadow and blast it. Doesn't matter whether it's a whether it's a policeman or a or a, or a, or their their pet cat, they'll just blast. Yeah, I am really not in favour of the vast majority having um, running around with guns without being able to control their fear. You have to control your fear. That's the number one thing. Control your fear. And that means confidence. You need confidence. And if you have confidence, like as not, you probably won't need ever to access that hand cannon. As an example, I have been in the United States near enough 20 years. I fired a few, a few shots. The only, um, the only thing I have ever shot in the United States has been, well, a couple of things, rats and snakes. That is all. And that is, and I found rats in the house, so I got them with rat shot. And I found snakes that were not particularly friendly. So I got them with rat shot. And I was not afraid of them. I just dealt with them. I would rather not have killed them, but they were a problem. And that was the probably the only way to deal with them. So, you know, people are all talking about guns and shooting and whatnot and, and self-defense. When a gun is used in self-defense, evil has happened. And the problem is you have to identify who the evil person was, whether it was the defender or the attacker. And you have to identify who was the offend, who was the attacker, and who was the defender. And that's not easy. And sometimes that gets put before twelve people and a judge. You don't want to be in that position. So yeah, I'm. I'm not saying. Darn mosquitoes. Uh, I'm not saying don't have a gun. I'm saying be careful. Don't shoot willy-nilly, and don't be afraid. Fear is your biggest enemy. <laughs>